Okay, if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in f***ing circles. Least of all stockbrokers. Hey everybody, it's Lawrence from FinancialThing.com. Today it is February the 10th, 2021, and I have a new Trading212 portfolio update. Apologies for not having done one since December the 22nd last year, 2020. What can I say? I've been slacking. Hey, get over it. It happened. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps me out a ton. Hit that like button if you like the video and visit financialthing.com for all the latest reviews on peer to peer lending companies and investment stuff that I write myself. Let's get straight into it. Last time I updated on December the 22nd, the portfolio is up just a little bit over 40%. We had a gain of uh, 2,327 pounds, which is a huge gain, 40%. Remember, we started September, late September of 2020. So in just two months, a 40% gain. But since then, as you know, if you've been looking at the stock market, everything has just been going crazy. And some types of uh, stocks have gone up in a parabolic level. A couple of them we have in the portfolio have done so too. So now, what is going on in the portfolio? A couple of things have happened. First of all, Trading212 says that we've invested £6,750. Now, to be honest, I don't really know why this number is showing because I only invested about £5,600. So I have to reach out to them um, and see what is going on with that. I don't know if that's because of the exchange rates or something else has happened to the account. Maybe this data is incorrect, but I do know something. This portfolio is now up over 84%, which is insane. Absolutely not normal. Now, granted, the stocks that I picked have done really, really well for the most part, and I have sold some things off to lock in some profits. I'll show you what I've done. But yes, the portfolio is up 5,683 pounds, and now we have a grand total of 12,447 pounds, which is just insane. Like I said, in normal market conditions, I would not expect these types of results. But hey, we'll take the wins while we can. Let's look at the portfolio and see what the individual stocks are in there right now and see what they've done. Alteryx, small holding in this company. Uh, just a day ago, this share was up about 15%. They had some strange things happen with their pricing on the market. It dropped 15% on December. The, it dropped 15% today on February the 10th, 2021. So we lost all of the profits there. But for the long term, I think this is going to be a good growth stock. Now this one, Aurora Cannabis. I don't know if you remember the last video. Aurora was really in the red and I was thinking, have I made a mistake with this stock? You can see here it's up 57.29% now had a really, really big couple of days down here, February the 5th at $12. If we look back, you'll see when it was down, you know, in the red down here at a little bit less than $10. And my average purchase price was $11.59. Now we are up to $18.90. Had a great run over the last couple of days and the weeks. Been up 37.76% on the week. So good pick there. Centris Energy, this again, more of a long-term situation. We're in the red right now at 5%. I don't think this will continue, so I'm going to hang on with that one. JP Morgan Chase, very small holding. Uh, we've got a little bit of a dividend payout from them. Not much, but up 21.59%. Great result. Laredo Petroleum, this is one that we kind of put more of our portfolio money into Laredo, and it's performed great. We are up. 40.5% on this gas and oil exploration company in America. 74 shares worth now a profit of over 515 pounds. What more could you want? Good old Lloyds Bank. One of the shockers to me, up 50%. <laughs> Lloyds, who knew you were going to be such a great buy? I'm happy. I'm holding. I'm looking for that 50 pence price target on it. The star of the show right here, Magnite, up a whopping 3,313 pounds on this. We paid uh, just a little bit over $14 a share. We have 106 shares in this, and uh, the profit has been huge. We're up over 295%. We did have a bit of a drop-off this week 
because you can see here we were all the way at $63 a share. We dropped back down to 57, well over a 300% profit. Super happy about Magnite. I did actually sell off 25% of the MGNI shares to take profit. I wasn't sure what was going to happen with earnings. So it's never wrong to lock in profits, and that's what I did with Magnite. But still, you can see a considerable, a considerable size of the portfolio still being held. See Unlimited here, only one share, probably just worth getting rid of this, but hey, we're up 67% on it, 78 pounds and 95p profit, just holding. Tesla, Tesla was actually up close to 100%, had a bit of a pullback. As you can see from the chart here, we were up at $869 at one point, come back down to 805, not really too worried about it. Um, do I expect Tesla to pull back even further? Possibly, it's had an amazing run. I do have some stop sell limits on the share. Uh, if it gets down into $750 range, probably consider unloading some of these Tesla shares. But for now, we're just going to hang on and wait and see. So again, we're up almost uh, 935 pounds on this Tesla stock, which is an 85% profit. Trade Desk, again, just holding a very small amount of this, but up 71 0.64 percent 59 pound profit and finally uh, too low oil a very small holding again another british uh, exploration company in oil and gas uh, in the negative five percent but again we're not really holding a lot of these and i do expect that too low will probably see somewhat of an uptick in the future when anybody's guess how much anybody's guess so again that's how we're doing so far everything has just been going blazing guns up 84.2 percent on the portfolio i'm no longer going to call it the uh, trading 212 5500 portfolio because obviously it's not that anymore we're just going to look straight at the results every week and the portfolio since december 22nd 2020 has pretty much doubled actually more than doubled so it was at 40 percent gains back then and in less then three months, we've seen another uh, 40%, actually 44% gains on the portfolio. I mean, it's insane. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how much longer this is going to continue, but I'll stay invested in the companies that I believe in. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just where I decided to put the money based on research and recommendations from others. And so far, so good. So how has our portfolio performed against my trusty Vanguard US Equity Index Tracker Fund? Well, the Index Tracker Fund has been doing really well. Since September the 23rd, 2020 to today, February 10th, 2021, the tracker has gone up a whopping 16.32%. And that is a huge amount for that period of time for an index tracker. Now, obviously, if you compare against our uh, trading 212 portfolio, you're going to see a big difference in the results and in the gains. But certainly, I don't recommend gambling in this way with these single stocks because it is very, very, very risky. Uh, certainly, a lot more risk with the trading 212 portfolio against the Vanguard Index Tracker Fund. Has it paid off? Obviously, yes. But again, in normal market conditions, you could quite see my portfolio lagging behind the vanguard portfolio so as i always tell you a good portion of my investments are actually in index tracker funds and this trading 212 portfolio and my single stock portfolio makes up a pretty small percentage of my total investments so there you have it those are the results i hope you enjoyed the video please again hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button leave a comment down below if you have any questions i do try to respond to everything myself and visit financialthing.com i will see you soon don't forget about our thursday evening live stream which happens every thursday hosted by me it happens at 7 30 p.m uk time which is 2.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Every Thursday night, I answer all of your questions about peer-to-peer -peer lending, cryptocurrency, and investing. I'll see you soon, and thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it.